Colleen, let me set the scene for you for the latest incident. It was this past Sunday night here at LAX about 730, probably crowded because a lot of people were coming home from the New Year's holiday, when suddenly a man starts acting strangely. He starts saying, I'm God, I'm in charge. LAX police and arrest that man, and he turns out to be a TSA agent. They are the first line of defense in airport security, transportation security administration agents. But there have been two troubling incidents involving LAX TSA agents recently. A source tells Channel 4 News a TSA agent was arrested on January 3rd here at Terminal 1 at LAX. He'd just gotten off duty and was behaving erratically, saying, I am God, I'm in charge. The agent was arrested under the welfare code and could have been hospitalized in protective custody for up to 72 hours. Meanwhile, a TSA internal affairs investigation turned up evidence of LAX TSA agents using drugs at an after hours party. TSA officials say a videotape of the party was of poor quality and the employees were not in uniform, but four employees were tentatively identified. All four were tested for drugs. One came back positive and that employee was fired. There shouldn't be people under the influence because you're still under the influence the next day. But if you're going to take a job here, you take on an extra responsibility, you need to follow through with your responsibilities, yeah. even on your own time. But other passengers weren't as concerned. I imagine there are a lot of people doing that in all walks of life, doing all kinds of work. So no, not really. Do you want them um, checking you when you're off job? I mean, do you want them telling you what to do? The federal security director at LAX, Larry Fetters, would not comment on camera, but his office released the following statement. TSA practices a zero-tolerance policy for illegal drug use and conducts random drug and alcohol testing at over 450 airports across the country to enforce this rule. We show no leniency to employees who violate the public trust and shame the uniform that is proudly worn by 50,000 men and women in service to this nation. Of the 2,300 TSA screeners here at LAX, last year, 14 of them tested positive for drug use. 12 of them resigned before those results came back. Reporting live from LAX, I'm Kim Baldonado, Channel 4 News. Kim, the uh, incident on the 3rd, do we know if that TSA agent or officer was in uniform? Did it mean anything different for the passengers? Did they have to be rescreened or anything at that point? You know, we don't know at this point if he was still in uniform, but we are being told he had just gotten off duty, so it's very likely that he was. We're not able to find out much more information about that particular agent because he was arrested under a 5150 code, which is a mental health code. The HIPAA laws uh, come into effect then, which are privacy laws regarding anything with your health records. So we're not, unable to find out any more information about him, but we do know he had just gotten off duty. I'm just kind of curious, was he sort of standing in the security area saying I am God or where did this happen? Was it in front of passengers? I wish I had the answer to that question, Colleen. We're trying to find that out today, but unfortunately, we don't know exactly where he was when this occurred. All right, Kim Baldonado reporting live for us from the airport. LAX will, of course, continue to try to get more information on that story. Kim, thank you.